Okay, back back again here. Um, so where was I? Okay, you can see that uh, that this just having this more dead battery is working the system a lot more. It has to put it's drawing a lot more out of the charge battery, or it, it's having to do more work. Uh, I'm sure this bulb is flashing. It's really hard to see. I think it's barely flashing right now. So uh, by adding the second battery, it really helps. And I'm going to show you even the worst case scenario here. Now this this uh, third battery that I got here is completely dead. Got this meter hooked up to it, and it's at uh, 0.28 volts right now. So it's an extremely dead battery. <laughs> It is no good at the moment. So I'm going to just hook that battery up. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me this meter over. You can maybe see it. I got so many meters and alligator clips around here, it's crazy. Okay. Now I'm putting the charge only on this completely dead battery here. I'm going to give this a faster spin so it's going about as fast as it would be. Alright, now. You can see things aren't looking so good, you know, it's hardly putting anything out. You know, just barely registering it on that meter, I'm drawing a lot more current. So, to me it's a nice buffer zone by connecting them all together. I'm going to turn this off. You can hear the pitch of the motor. It's, it's whining a lot more. This, this light is definitely flashing now. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe I'll zoom in here for a second. I don't want to run this too long this way, but this light is definitely flashing now. And well, there, there's there's the voltage showing up on that meter, but you know, there you go. I mean, we got a little bit of charge in there, so now. I'm going to put that completely dead battery and I'm going to connect it with the one that's in better shape so that you can see kind of what I mean about this buffering or it's not stressing the circuit out so darn much. Okay. Now you can see this meter, it's connected to the totally dead battery. Is now that's your combined voltage between those two batteries. No, oh, this meter went off. Hold on. Okay. So you can see there it is, ten. Basically ten point nine, let's call it. All right. I'm gonna we'll fire this up again. And it hasn't gone up to speed yet. Give it help it along here. Alright, so you can see that the you know the draw is much more reasonable and we're back up to you know basically our 300 milliamp uh, charging going on. So it's sort of charging this one at the same time. This one seems to be helping that one out. Well uh, you end up recovering your batteries. So um, I'm gonna, you know, edit this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave for five minutes. Let's see. Got a little watch right here somewhere. So this, this watch. Right, I'm gonna come back in five minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how much that battery might have. Uh, 
come up. All right. Okay, I'm back. It's been a little longer than five minutes. I'm going to zoom in just a smidge here. You definitely see the meters. Okay, as you can see, it's been, what, about six, seven minutes now. And uh, let's turn this off and disconnect everything. So. There's the combined voltage of the dead battery right now. Remove it from the other battery. So, you know, you can see we're get we're starting to gain on it. And it and it's and it's totally dead, you know. But yet the circuit is not stressed and you know, there's a place for the other energy to go. I, I think, I, you know, it just seems to balance it all out. So, I recommend if you want to start recovering dead batteries, possibly to make sure you got two connected is pretty much my point. And I'm going to hook this back up, fire back up, and then show you one more thing that's pretty darn cool. All right, and that is uh, charging regular batteries. Now I've got a nine volt sitting here. Uh, I think I'm running out of meters. <laughs> and, all right, let me. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna disconnect this one for a minute. Hope I don't short anything. Okay. So, voltage. Of this battery was like eight three or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So there's the voltage of this little nine volt here. And I'm gonna add it to the charging circuit as well All right. with with I'm reconnecting the dead one so you got the one that's okay the dead one and then I'm gonna connect this one up too I've already got it set up to where it's connected up here just gonna plug it in and show you the time cut the video show you how quick you can charge one so you can see it, you know, it messed with the circuit. It really brought that up. Still drawing about the same. Um, you know, and, and it messed with the overall voltage of the, the combined voltage of all the batteries. So I'll show you the watch again, and I'm going to come back in about five minutes. So it's 10 after right now. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me zoom back in again here. Oh, I hope you guys can see these meters. Anyway, it's been about five minutes. You can see, quarter after now. Yeah, I'm going to disconnect this battery and read what voltage we got. You can see the meters drop a little bit. Okay. All right. Wow. Look at that. Huh. Has a charge that fast. <laughs> I mean, I was I had to go 15 minutes. Look at that. So I, you know, and it's it's gonna settle down to probably I don't know nine nine six maybe. 
we can do a time test on that. I'll uh, I'll cut again. Yep, time. Just a few minutes after. Alright. Okay, I'm back. So it's kind of settled a little lower than I thought because, I mean, the voltage was so high. But it's settling, starting to settle out. It's slowing down. So you can see how quickly you can charge these. Like I say, you know, you leave them on there a little, a little longer. I don't know. You might overpower them. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, yeah, I might. <laughs> it's charging that awful quick, but according to the way these things are supposed to work, uh, it's not supposed to overheat them. So and it's not, you know, it didn't get warm in it anyway. So anyway, uh, you can charge regular batteries too, and I just kind of wanted to point out actually putting multiple batteries together during your charging process. Uh, Seems to just kind of smooth smooth process out and allow you to continue to put out um, more voltage into that battery storage. So, all right. Um, I wanted to just uh, let you see maybe how that uh, really dead battery's been doing since we've been doing this charging thing. So, zoom back in. We'll uh, turn it off, reconnect meter, and disconnect from the other battery. So you can see it was it. It was at 3.1 earlier, and now it's at 3.3, so, you know, and that's, that's without, uh, you know, any settling or whatnot. So, I mean, it, it takes a while to really recover these batteries, that's for sure. But once you get them there, it seems like they charge pretty good. This thing seems to be doing all right, and certainly runs the motor and everything, so. Back for one more thing. Um here are all three batteries being charged at the same time the big ones uh, all three of those are being charged at the same time right now we're still doing pretty go good here and there and uh, let's see it's definitely pulling on the, on the main battery here uh, this doesn't seem to have all that much life you know, or running power probably especially you know drawn this much off of it so I'm gonna switch back to my PC power supply here in, in a little while but um, I think once you know if I can charge all three of these at the same time once I get them up to snuff if, if you have brand new batteries and you just kept kept them uh, replenished or, and whatnot I think this would do it pretty well and so that's where I'm headed and hopefully the math works but I say thumbs up at this point so take care